Hello everyone and welcome back to Deciphering Weather. In today's video, we are tracking not only an area in the middle of the Atlantic for possible development, but also in the Caribbean. If you like detailed weather breakdowns, hit the subscribe button and notification bell to get all of my upcoming videos. So we're looking at the latest satellite image of the Atlantic Basin thanks to tropicaltibbets.com for Tuesday, September 17th, 2024. The red arrow is pointing towards the remnants of PTC-8, the purple arrow is the remnants of Gordon, and the black arrow is a tropical wave moving through the Caribbean, which could be the catalyst for development later on next week into a potential tropical storm or hurricane in the Western Caribbean, and where it goes from there is still up in the air. Here's the vorticity. This uh, signature of the atmosphere, the spin and energy. Uh, you can see we have the remnants of Gordon in the middle of the Atlantic and north of it as a non tropical low. It's going to interact with, potentially re strengthen it back into a tropical storm. Off the southeast coast of the United States, we still have the remnants of not only PTC 8, but also Francine in the Louisiana region. Off the coast of Africa, we have another tropical wave coming off the coast. And then by South America, we have a tropical wave, and that's going to be slowly moving over the next week towards the Western Caribbean because of the weak trade winds. And once it's there, potentially developing into our next tropical system. So here is our simulated radar uh, satellite image, and you can see the swirl. What's left of PTC-8 never became a tropical depression or storm, but it had the potential before making landfall. And here is the radar image showing all the rain that's still in the area. Speaking of rain, we saw almost maybe over 20 inches of rain near the southeast corner of North Carolina from the this system, which is incredible. Just the amount of rainfall that it just dumped on the region. And even though it wasn't a tropical storm or a hurricane, rain is still an impact. Here's the remnants of Tropical Storm Gordon, seeing that it's trying to regain some of its uh, luster that it had earlier uh, in the week. It was downgraded to a remnant earlier today by the National Hurricane Center. It's only got winds of 30 miles an hour, slowly moving north at five miles an hour to interact with that upper level low to its north and has a 20% chance of redeveloping into Gordon over the next two days and a 40% chance over the next seven days. Here's the spaghetti track guidance model showing that it's gonna stay out to sea, so it shouldn't be a threat to any land and potentially could strengthen up to a hurricane. So let's use the GFS model to see where our tropical wave in the Caribbean could go highlighted in black and see if it's potent, what its potential is for developing. So again, the red, red hexagon is the remnants of PTC-8, purple is the remnants of Gordon, and black is our tropical wave. Here's our low wind shear environment around our tropical entities at upper level lows and troughs. And we see the moisture and dry air content around our systems. So let's move this forward two days from now to Thursday, September 19th. We see Gordon's moving north and interacting with our upper level low. The remnants of PTC 8's vorticity are still there, but also have spun off another non-tropical low nor'easter type storm moving up the east coast of the United States. And then our slow moving tropical wave is just north of Colombia in the Caribbean. So it's on the south end of the upper level trough in the Caribbean. So that's gonna increase that wind shear, as you can see here, and increased wind shear hampers development, has some dry air intrusion on the northeast side of the storm. But as this continues to slowly drift westward, you see it's got a lot of moisture to work with. That's what it's gonna latch onto as it gets into the Western Caribbean. So by the time we get to day five, it is now just the, on the northeast corner of Honduras and Nicaragua. We see in purple in the middle of the Atlantic, 
Gordon has re-strengthened into a tropical storm, maybe a hurricane at this point. And then in pink on the right side of your screen, we have another tropical wave coming off the coast of Africa. Upper level environment, as you can see here at the 200 level, this is where jets fly. Our black hexagon on the left side of your screen to its left has an upper level trough. What that means is we might see some increased wind shear on the northeast northwest side of the storm, but we'll have light wind shear with that upper level ridge just to its south and east. Uh, so that's going to create that uh, vortex max of spreading out, expanding air in the upper levels of the atmosphere. That's going to cause that rising air uh, to occur because we're going to have convergence at the low levels, creates deepens that low pressure system and that's how we get a strengthening storm and it's got a lot of moisture to work with here as you can see the western caribbean is completely saturated versus the very dry uh, gulf of mexico but because we have a developing upper level ridge counteracting that upper level trough just to its north and west we're going to see this one potentially strengthen so by the time we get to day seven, you see that vorticity max starting to show up on our map here, just to the south of Cuba, to the west of Jamaica, right near the Cayman Islands. So anyone cruising in that region in about a week's time, fortunately, you're going to have some choppy waves and some, at least some rainy conditions. We'll see if it develops to create some very windy conditions for you as well. And we'll check that tropical wave coming off the coast of Africa because it also shows signs of possible development as Gordon continues to move on its way to the North Atlantic on its way towards Europe at this point. Here's the European model. Pretty much the same thing. A little bit of a development of our system in the Western Caribbean. Not much of Gordon. And then not really much of that tropical wave coming off the coast of Africa just yet either. So here's the ensemble models showing the support of all of our systems that we're going to be monitoring. Black will be our tropical wave, pink is our African wave, and then purple is the remnants of Gordon. So Gordon's on its way towards the middle of the Atlantic, potentially a threat to Europe in a little more than a week's time as an extra tropical system at that point. And then we'll track this tropical wave in the Caribbean if it will develop in the Western Caribbean into a potentially our next hurricane as some models are suggesting. Next name on the list would be Helene so we'll keep an eye on it. As a reminder we have super thanks available on the ciphering weather so if you'd like to donate to the channel please go down to the heart button where it says thanks. Thank you for watching this video if you liked it please hit the like button and leave a comment. Please share this video with your family and friends on social media. And if you're new and like detailed weather breakdowns, hit the subscribe button and notification bell to get all of my upcoming videos. Thank you and have a great day.